Now, when school authorities tell a mother that her son is sick and needs to be on drugs, how in the world is she to know that that is simply a lie? How is she to recognize that what experts now call attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is simply not a disease? Now, such a mother is not an expert in the history of psychiatry. She does not know that psychiatrists have for hundreds of years used diagnostic terms, so-called diagnostic terms, to stigmatize and control people. I will only give you a few dramatic examples. When black slaves in the South ran away to freedom, it wasn't that they wanted to be free. They suffered from a disease called drapetomania. From drapetes, runaway slave and mania. I'm not making this up. This was a legitimate diagnosis, just like attention deficit disorder is. <laughs> Women, half the population of mankind, of course, if they were foolish enough to rebel against domination by men, well, then they had a serious disease called hysteria, which was due to their wandering womb. Now, none of those behaviors was ever a disease, and of course it's not a disease. But nor is attention deficit disorder a disease. No behavior or misbehavior is a disease or can be a disease. That's not what diseases are. So it doesn't matter how a child behaves. There is nothing to examine. <laughs> if he's sick, then there must be some objective science to it which can be diagnosed by physicians and objective tests. So very often. As soon as you go to a doctor, they take a lot of blood and take x-rays. They don't want to hear how you behave. When I went to medical school 60 years ago, there were only a handful of mental diseases. I think there were no more than six or seven. Now there are more than 300. And new ones are, quotes, discovered every day. Labeling a child as mentally ill is Stigmatization, not diagnosis. Giving a child a psychiatric drug is poisoning, not treatment. Diseases are malfunctions of the human body, of the heart, the liver, the kidney, the brain, and so forth. Typhoid fever is a disease. You all know that? You don't question that. Spring fever All you have to know is English. <laughs> Spring fever is not a disease. The task we set ourselves to combat psychiatric coercion is important. I think it's important. You all think it's important. Not enough people think it's important. It's a noble task, a task in the pursuit of which we must, regardless of obstacles, persevere. Our conscience commands that we do no less.